All right, next we jump into Consumer Staples, which is another defensive that has really not looking like it's like screaming, but it has some spots inside of it that are really working. And then there's one area that's just not. There's three subsectors in here, but when we start with the Consumer Staples equal weight sector itself, you can see it's more moved sideways to down, but none of it's been really bad here during this last. So it does have some defensive nature to it. Um, but it is still in an RSI bear range right here. Uh, we move down into the breadth of it. None of that's impressive. It's just not a big sector, but yet it has some uh, really strong plays that ETFs that jumped out at me, as I'll show you in just a second. And when you look at it across the longer term, it's still kind of outperforming the market since last fall and still in that positioning. So it's something that, you know, if the markets continue to get worse, it might be an area that continues to get better. Um, it'll definitely be better relatively probably, but it might be better overall. From the ETF standpoint, there are two that I'm just gonna look at really quick that jumped out at me. One is just your basic XLP. And as you can see, it's moved back over the last couple months in a flagging action. Daily doesn't look like a flag, but when you flip it up into the weekly, you can see it pretty clearly as it just keeps flagging out as it moves back to the MA bands in this RSI bull range on the weekly. This time it's holding around the 60 level. The daily still needs some improvement to get over here over the top. But again, you look for a potential of a trend line break right here. And this could get this thing back moving here really quickly into the new to all time high type area. Another one is PBJ in here. This one's right at the breakout level. RSI moving into a fresh bull range on the daily and the weekly never lost its bull range. This is one of those areas that just really looks strong and uh, looks like it's ready to continue to move. Now I'll let you go in there when we get to the subsector. I'm not going to go through each one of the stock holdings and all that, but you can go in and look at it yourself. Now when we looked at the subsectors, the top was food and staples retailing. This is a subsector that's really showing some strength, broke out this week, high relative strength versus all the other subsectors, and it is high versus its sector as well. RSI bull range, everything's looking up for the uh, food and staples retailing. Breadth is strong, even though there aren't a lot of components. The relative comparative is running higher after this breakout. All of the right things that we need to see. Not a ton of holdings. And you know, everybody knows about the things like Kroger and you know, that have already made big breakouts. Let's look at that. Let's look at Kroger's already made a huge breakout. Um, another one that's made a big breakout, I uh, believe was SFM. SFM's already made a big breakout, but look at GO. Look how beautiful this chart is. Right about to get into the gap has room up to the next one, which is the, around 34, and then up to these highs around 36, if it makes it above that. And then we get into, yeah, you might stop at this gap here, but this volume vacuum up to this area up here is pretty large. And then we get into a scenario to where it's just made a new fresh RSI bull range. The weekly's not there yet, but this last little pullback did hold at 40. So this one looks strong if it can break through this area. Um, also, the, another one that I was looking at here a minute ago is something as big as Walmart. Looks like it's just now having a fresh downtrend or uh, breaking this downtrend line as the RSI moves into a new bull range on the daily. The weekly never lost it, but it's just moved sideways for quite a while with some of the inflation worries and other things like that. And as you go through this chart, you have a lot of things right before earnings here on Unfi, so I'd be careful. But look at the little base setting up here and the potential for new RSI bull range after the weekly held the bull range is now turning higher. Um, a lot of charts in here, some of these have already moved really strong, but again, as you continue to work your way through them, you can find some of these areas that are just now breaking out into new moves or some of the things that are reversing. It's the thing here like Price Smart, which I marked up a few minutes ago. It came down and lost this previous level, but now has regained it on the weekly. The daily has broken this downtrend line. And when I back out, it's broken above this big volume area into an RSI bull range with RSI leading price over here. So a lot of good potential here as we move up um, to see if this one can keep moving. BJ's got hit recently on earnings, trying to hold. 
uh, with strong earnings and it gap down, you know, see if it can hold this volume area. But again, I think there are better looking names in this potential area. Uh, Cisco Corp, always a good staple in that area, right near all time high breakout. RSI is in a bull range. It did pull down here just recently back to this little area. So kind of see how this hammer works out. See if it can reverse back up and challenge those highs again here really shortly. Um, another one is Ingalls Market right at the breakout level. RSI in a fresh bull range weekly and just a strong bull range. Uh, no real reason to think that this one cannot continue based on how it looks. And as I just said, we just went over PSMT. Um, food, beverage, tobacco, looking at the chart itself, it doesn't look great. But as we looked at that ETF a little while ago, which is a cap weighted ETF, there was a lot of strength in there. So I'll let you go down if you want to. The breadth is not great. It's not terrible. But as I've said, even in these areas that have decent relative comparatives over a little bit of time, you can come down here and you can resort this and you can look through some of these names and you're going to find a lot of strength. RS Movers is the way I like to sort it a lot to find out kind of what's moving up in the rankings and might be ready for some opportunities now. Farm, a very small name, so probably not something many would want to uh, jump into. But as we jump in and see, you can see this one's still in a downtrend. Um, but we go up here if you want to in something like this that doesn't look super strong, you can go up to the high RS and take a look at those because you still can very potentially find some strong setups. High RS in a mediocre sector, this one looks like it's already ran a bit, still can have some good opportunities. Um, and then, of course, finally, we have household durables and personal products or household and personal products. Sorry, not durables. Uh, and this chart just looks terrible. Um, it's in an RSI bear range towards the lows. If we're going to be in this sector, why focus in this area? There's just no reason to with this kind of sloppiness. Um, but again, if for some ungodly reason you feel you have to trade in this area, look at these things that are moving and RS movers in the area and the strength in the area. You know, Church and Dwight is a really solid company, whether the charts there or not. You know, that's what it really comes down to. It's the strength in this weak area, and we look like we have a pretty decent looking chart. So I think it's something we can definitely uh, kind of move our way into um, and see if this little base reversal here can continue. RSI on the weekly pulled down to this bull range. Looks like it's putting in a big positive reversal as it back tested this breakout level on Church and Dwight. This is a real strong company. This chart looks like it has good potential uh, right now. So, you know, even in these mediocre areas of a defensive sector, you can find some real good gems if you're willing to glance through a few charts and let the chart decide what the trading opportunities and trade plan might be. Um, that gives you consumer staples. That kind of covers that area. Again, I'm sure there's plenty more in there, but I just want to make sure I highlight a few, give you some things to look at closer and try to develop some ideas of your own. All right, we'll move on to the next one here in just a minute.